Water has long been the lifeblood of the American West. How easy it is for modern Coloradans to forget that our tree-lined main streets, orchards of juicy peaches, and elaborate cityscapes are an illusion of bounty that was created over the past 160 years. Our lives today are shaped by the state's early settlers that moved water to make lands fertile. This is Mark. He's the local water commissioner. If it's a day that ends in Y, you can bet he's looking at stream gauges. Now, water commissioners are tasked with allocating water to various users all along the river system. Good morning, Mark. My name's Eric. I'll be the voice on your shoulder today. Water rights in Colorado are unique compared to other parts of the country, especially those that are wetter. The use of water in this state is governed by what is known as the priority system. This system of water allocation controls who uses how much water and for what. Mark helps make sure that the system is working as it should, especially when there's not enough to go around. A simple way to explain this system is first in time, first in right. When an individual physically takes water from a stream or aquifer and places that water to some type of beneficial use, this is called an appropriation. Now tell me, Mark, what are we looking at here? Well, Eric, we're looking at real-time stream gauges to see what the flow is on the river. And based off of what we're seeing here, we're probably going to go have to make some adjustments. The first appropriations in Colorado happened in the 1850s. And this was before it was even a state. Now, a person that owns these older rights gets to use that water first within a river system. We call this person a senior water rights owner. Now, a lot of other farmers, families, and towns came in after those early water rights. They also needed water. But these senior water users must be satisfied before any others can be fulfilled. Good morning, Walter. Yes, I understand clearly. Your water right Priority number one is short this morning. We're gonna to have to curtail some junior water rights. On a daily basis, our water commissioners determine how many water users can be fully satisfied. He or she will work their way down a long list of priorities based on the water available in the stream. Let's take a look at Mark in action. In order for a water right to be recognized in the priority system, it must be approved in court. It then becomes a decreed right. Decrees were issued only for consumptive uses, such as irrigation, domestic, and industrial, but are now available for recreational and environmental uses in the stream as well. What happens next, Mark? We're looking at this staff gauge to determine the flow in this ditch. It looks like we need to turn some junior ditches off upstream. Let's go. After you. Good morning, Alice. Hey, Mark. Walter, the senior water right holder, senior water right is not fulfilled, so I'm here to turn off your junior diversion. I was afraid that was going to happen. Sure looks like it's going to rain, though. Well, it could, but state law requires us to shut down these junior diversions when the call comes on. So we'll be shutting yours off today. Yours is juniors to Walter Senior. I'll reevaluate and get back a hold of you if we can turn you back on. All righty. Have a good day, Alice. Thanks, Mark. There are other reasons why water right owners may not be able to take water or receive their full decreed amount. Colorado has water sharing agreements with other states on nearly every river that leaves its borders. Water commissioners are tasked with meeting the obligations of these agreements. They may have daily responsibilities to calculate delivery requirements and ensure that they are made to the state line. Howdy, Walter. Hey, Mark. Looks like you're getting your decreed amount now. Yeah, I made all my plans based on having that priority one water. Without it, my field would have burned up and I would have wasted all that money. Water commissioners like Mark are approachable and knowledgeable. Water right owners like Alice and Walter sometimes don't see eye to eye. This is why Colorado is administered by trustworthy commissioners across the state. Mark. It seems like your job is pretty hard sometimes. Why do you do what you do? Well, I truly enjoy being out here in nature, taking care of one of Colorado's most precious natural resources, which is water. I enjoy being up here on these ditches with my users and their friends and neighbors of mine and making sure that water is fairly distributed within the priority system. 
It keeps our economy going on the western slope here and in my community. I just enjoy my job tremendously. Well, Mark, thank you so much for the work you do and thank you for having me out here.